What up, film bros? We're here today on set with the real bros, setting up the hella steezy lighting setup for the interviews for our boys over at Too Simple. We're gonna make a killer film for them. It's gonna be hella gnarly. Make sure you check the boys out. We're gonna be shredding hardcore stoke. What's up, everybody? Uh, we actually got the team split up today, so we got half the team in Sedona with Ferrari, and then the other half here, uh, Too Simple, in Tucson. So I got all the gear, uh, we're setting up interviews today. Should be a good day. Let's see what's, uh, what's uh, happening. What's up, everybody? Day two here down in Tucson at Too Simple's facility. Behind me is one of the autonomous trucks. We're doing a web series of interviews. Um, it's episodic, so we're doing a lot of different interview setups throughout the warehouse. Uh, we had a great first day of shooting, doing two more uh, episodes, and then two more days after that. So it's a nice four-day shoot to round out the week. I'll run you through this setup right here. So we're gonna start with uh, the camera side of things, one of my favorite sides. It's all the tech, the cool stuff. Um, we're using our Dana Dolly set up with the Modimo ST4 motion controller to give us nice motion control pan dollying. On there we have a Sony a7R 3 paired with an insane lens. We have the Zeiss Master Anamorphics. We've got the 35 millimeter on here. I don't know if this is the first time that one of those has been on a small little Sony camera like that, but it looks beautiful. Um, our A cam over here with the teleprompter on it is a Arri Alexa Mini LF, the large format sensor. That one has the 75 millimeter anamorphic lens on there. And of course, we're pumping it all with Vaxxus Wireless into our Atomos director's monitors AB camera for monitoring. That way client can watch it, give direct feedback, um, and crew can kind of monitor images, backgrounds, and what's going on. Um, we got the Aperture 120Ds with the softbox domes on them, uh, giving us a nice, soft, directional light on our talent. Um, over here, that's backed up by one of our brand new Nova light panels. These things are awesome, full RGB control. Got lots of lighting effects like police cars and whatnot. They're super bright. Added two of these to the kit, and they've been killing it so far. Um, that gives us a little bit of fill light from the side. If you follow me back this way, all the way down there, you might not be able to see it, is our other Nova. It's on the green mode. Cool thing about these lights is we actually can take a picture of something, a color. So that color is green, matched to the Too Simple logo green. Um, on the truck here, we're using our 300Ds to backlight it, kind of give us a nice hair light on the entire truck. Um, those things are great because they're super bright with the Fresnels and you can directional spot them or flood them. Underneath the LiDAR detectors here, if you come up here, we'll turn one on for you guys so you can see. But under here, we have our Aperture MCs. These are the tiny little lights that are magnetic. You can tape them places. Another unique feature about this is these are emulating the LiDAR light, enhancing it a little bit for camera. What we did again is take a picture of the LiDAR color and directly matched it with these guys. So that's a super cool feature that's coming in useful. It's allowing us to match directly to our client's color schemes on their products and their logos, um, add a little bit of splash of color in there um, in the background of these interviews. Day three here at Two Simples facility. Um, doing some trucker interviews right now. We did a nice setup in front of the driver's side door. Nice soft light from the apertures once again. It's Maureen Fitzgerald. I go by Mo. I've been a professional driver for approximately 34 years now. But it would be a really interesting job, and basically, a lot of it was to I wanted to get off the road. That's the way technology is now. What I've seen so far here, it definitely will be a lot safer. And everybody needs to be able to see it. And once it's on a mass scale, I think the world will know. Welcome to day four, final day here at Too Simple. Uh, first shot of the day today is a beautiful backdrop here. It's a diversity film for them, so we're featuring a handful of their employees. We have them reading a beautiful script um, in the same location. The unique thing about this shot, though, is we're making use of our motion control system, the Emotimo Spectrum ST4. We've been using that for the past four days. It's been killing it as our B cam dolly. Um, let's, go, let's break down this shot for you guys, though, and how we're using motion control. So as you can see here, we have our 10-foot pole set up on our Dana Dolly with our Emotimo ST4 here. We're running the 75 anamorphic, uh, master anamorphic on the Sony. And the reason we're using motion control in this instance is we're doing a push-in dolly shot with a subtle tilt. Um, back here we have our teleprompter with the script and with using motion control we are able to break down our script word by word on a time frame. It's about a minute 20 seconds of travel down this dolly push into our talent 
And by using no motion control, we're able to switch out our talent with different people. And then in post-production, it's gonna get stitched together. So it's gonna feature multiple people in the same position reading the same script to kind of slowly cross those all between people. Really unique look, really technical shot to pull off. It looks simple in practice, but it takes a lot of calculation and time to set this up and do it properly. It's all crucially reliant on the motion tracking of the Modimo system, as that holds the same position and speed at all times for every single shot. It's repeatability, um, it's, it's why we love the system, it's why we use this for most of our interviews and the effects work. Halfway done, we got a few more people to run through, and then we'll break this setup down and then transition to our another interview setup. We made use of motion control in this shoot and many of our others. We're excited to be expanding our motion control unit um, by adding the Sisu Cinema C20 robot, as you may have heard on our social media channels. We'll be picking that up shortly after this shoot, bringing it back to Arizona from Texas. Um, really excited to play with that. This is a four-axis four motion control unit. The robot is an eight-axis. It's insane. It's crazy. It's a big robotic arm. Um, but in an effort to continually improving Real Bros Media and the specialty camera movement we supply, we're super excited to be adding a cinema robot to the roster. Gotta plug in the power and the positive, dude. Plus, plus and minus. Yeah, they are sick multi Bebos, dude. One day I want to film. No, you don't. No, you're not allowed to touch the camera.